That is so cool. <laughs> I like the 3D much better than the 2D because it just feels more realistic. 3D games, photos, entertainment, and more. No glasses required. Nintendo 3DS. Take a look inside. Hello, hello, hello. This is Adolf. I have with me New Jake. Hi, everybody. Just wanted to give a quick update on the 3DS. And Nintendo has officially ended the production of the new 3DS family of systems. And that uh, this has been widely done and shown off. It's actually from September of this year. End of September. So, yeah. Uh, 3DS is now out of production. And no longer being made. The 3DS family of systems. So no 3DS, no 2DS, no 2DS XL, no new 2DS XL. What are your thoughts, Jake? It's saddening, but it was an inevitable. Uh, nine years, pretty long for a handheld. Yeah, which um, basically means if you go into a store right now, they may not have any more new 3DSs or new 2DSs. New 3DSs have been very rare, right, Jake? Right, yeah. I, mean, I haven't seen a 3DS in a couple of years. It's been the 2DS uh, XL mainly. I haven't even seen one of those in about a month. So those have been rare. If, you, if you're if you interested in the 3DS games and you're, you, you know, that's the only thing you could find, then yeah, I would definitely recommend buying that. But obviously I do think that you should try to find the new 3DS because of the 3D aspect. Yes. And um, you, know, you may be able to get a deal... Um, you know, with Black Friday being not that far away, you might get a, a you know clearance going out special from GameStop or Best Buy or something. You know that you might get like a 3DS and like two games or something. You know, yeah, maybe a used special at GameStop, like a hundred bucks, get you that and a couple used games. Yeah, be a great deal. Um, I would jump on that because I think as years progress, as time progresses. It's going to be harder and harder to find a new system and harder and harder to find new systems, you know? Right. I mean, they, they, they did make a whole bunch of these things, but Nintendo tends to keep its value. So I'd get one as soon as possible. Um, so no production. You know, if, there, if you have some stores that have them right now, hey, you know, pick it up. If you want it, because you may not get that chance next week or next month or whatever, you know? Yeah, exactly. I mean, even the games are getting rarer and harder to find. It's usually just older Nintendo games and that's it. Nothing else. Yeah, like Target would have like one small section for 3DS and everything else is Switch now, you know? Yes. Now, there's some good places you may want to consider buying from uh, if you really, really want one and don't want to pay extreme prices. You might want to check in like Nintendo official store. That's a good idea. Official website. Uh, they do sell hardware and software there, and you may be able to find a refurbished new 3DS there for like a hundred bucks, maybe two, maybe a one fifty. Not bad. Not bad at all. No, that's pretty good for a handheld. I mean, with the huge library of games from uh, the 3DS and the standard DS. Uh, the, the online store is still open from what I remember. It's, you know, it's a lot of fun. A lot of great games on the system. Yeah, uh, they have not said that the 3DS eShop is going to be ongoing for the time being. That um, this is going to be probably another year before they announce. You know, maybe in January or February of 2021, they may announce, okay, we got another year. But they're going to announce it pretty soon, I imagine. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because Nintendo, it's like, out with the old and with the new. They're pretty regular with that. So right now, I did check as we're recording this. I, I did check on Nintendo's official store. You get a new 3D 2DS XL turquoise for $100. Wow. Oh, refurbished. It's a new oh. 2DS XL system, but it's refurbished. But still, 100 bucks ain't That's bad. That's not bad at all. No. That's official Fantastic from deal. Nintendo themselves. So you, you know, I definitely would trust Nintendo for refurbished stuff, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, you may be able to find some used ones in stores. Um, you know, GameStop may still have some. It might be hard to find some in Best Buy and Target, um, but you know, Walmart, Walmart. Yeah. But definitely, if you're interested, I definitely think you should consider it buying it. Um, 
you know, the eShop is there. There's hundreds of great games on the system. You know, there's definitely some really good prices on these games right now, too. The back library of the DS is still there, and it's uh, some great games there, too. Every 3DS and new TDS can play DS games. So that's, thousands, you know, potentially thousands of games that you could play, you know. Yes. And downloadable games, there's hundreds and hundreds of games for for the 3DS. So definitely worth considering buying. You know, the 3DS did have really good 3D. Um, you know, it wasn't... Oh, yes. It wasn't, wasn't great. I don't think it was the best, but the low resolution of the top screen did kind of hamper things. It wasn't, you know, 1080 screen, you know, or 4 No. <laughs> so. And when it started out, it, it was kind of really hard to get a good 3D because it didn't have the tracking of the new 2DS or the, the new 3DS had. Yeah, the new 3DS had super stable 3D and it tracked your eyes and it helped to keep the 3D... Uh, in a good spot. And obviously different games had different great 3D or, or different bit good 3D. Just depends what you got. You know, early 3DS software had problems with, um, you know, some games not running as well in 3D as it was in 2D. But that got kind right. of fixed as things gone through. And, you know, certain games are gorgeous in 3D. That it's like, you know, I don't think there's going to be another 3D system for Nintendo, sadly. I know. I mean, they've been wanting 3D for a while. And, they did it, and it sold well, but uh, near the end, they didn't even make games in 3D anymore. It was just 2D. Yeah. This is a shame. The last few games are 2D only. Like, um, there's that Yoshi uh, game that came out that was a port from the Wii, and then there was a, the Mario Maker that was a port from the Wii U. There was uh, Captain Toad, I think, uh, Minecraft. Captain Toad was a 3D game. Oh, was it? Okay. Uh, Luigi's Mansion was a 3D game. That was a, one of the later releases. Uh, the, yes. the Sushi Striker was, uh, I think, one of the later releases, um, which did not have 3D, I think. I think the Mega Man collection didn't have it either. Yeah. It, it, you know, Detective Pikachu didn't have it. The, the Yokai Watch games didn't, uh, don't have them anymore. So Kirby's Epic oh. Yarn. You know, certain games on there... Um, the, the, the 3DS, I think, should have released originally with two sticks instead of one stick because a lot of games oh, definitely. game didn't use both sticks. What You know, they, they needed the camera control and they didn't get it, you know. They, they did have the Circle Pad Pro, but hardly anything used it. Yeah, and it was kind of a problem, you know, because it needed battery life and it was a big, huge thing to carry around and... Yes. Uh, Street Pass, you know, it was a really cool thing that you could take your 3DS with you and then other people have took their 3DS and then they'll get pinged and then you'll get their little me and then their puzzle pieces. And, you know, it was cool. It was a cool social thing. Now in COVID, it's kind of a weird thing, but it was cool back then. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. It's still kind of cool in retrospect, but I could see it not being uh, supported anymore because COVID and the 3DS being essentially dead. The, the, it's still supported hardware wise. There was like you, right. you used to be able to go to McDonald's and get street passes from people that went to McDonald's before you, but that oh, got, yeah. that got canceled, so that's not happening no more. Yeah. No. Um. Do you have a favorite game on 3ds? <sighs> probably one of my favorites. Probably has to be Super Mario 3D Land. Uh, it probably did the best 3D out of any 3ds game I've ever played. Yeah, uh, the Animal Crossing New Leaf was great. Uh, Smash Brothers was fantastic on 3DS. Yeah, I hear that was a good one, but I've never really been big into uh, uh, Smash Bros. So yeah, kind of unfortunate on my part. Um, definitely, it, it worked great in 3D. It was beautiful. It was way better than it should have been. That last mm -hmm. Metroid game, I was a big fan of Metroid um, Samus Returns. Big fan of that. Oh, I haven't got to play that one yet. Uh, both Zelda remakes, really nice package. Oh, yeah, the Ocarina of Time, yeah, that was fun, and Majora's Mask. And then the, the Link Between Worlds, which is kind of a remake of... Uh, Link to the Past, wasn't it? Yeah, Link to the Past, and that's fully 3D, yeah. Mm -hmm. The Pokemon games are kind of... I think some people think they're not as good as they should have been, but, you know, hey, they have plenty of Pokemon games. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's so much Pokemon spin-off Pokemon games. Uh, man, there's so much. 
you know, there is still occasional new 3DS eShop exclusive game coming out. You know, that's going to dry up soon, but there's still plenty. Oh, yeah. There's, there's a lot of games on there. A lot of great, you know, the, the, the sad thing was it never came out with 3D movies. You can never download an entire 3D movie on there, you know. Yeah. I mean, you got trailers every so often for 3D movies. I think Green Lantern was the first one I remember. Yeah. But it was very little support there, which is quite a shame because uh, Game Boy and uh, Nintendo had movies on there like a, a few times on the Game Boy Advance. They could have brought it over to the 3DS. It would have been easy. Yeah. Um, but obviously the 3DS had problems with battery life, like the original didn't have more than three hours of battery life. Which sucked. Right. And the terrible screen, which didn't track your eyes. It was, yeah, that was another thing that the 2DS and the 3DS XL improved on the new one, at least. The 2DS was like the wedge shaped and it was just kind of ugly for kids. I hated, oh, that. hated yeah. that. But it was cheap and people bought them. Yeah. Um, and the new 3DS did have the C stick and the extra buttons, but it was kind of too late. And, like, there's very, yeah. very, very, very few games that required the new 3DS hardware, you know? It was just kind of... Uh, the big one was Minecraft that I can remember. Yeah, Minecraft, um, Hyrule Warriors. You could play that You could play that on the 3DS, but if you played it on the 3DS, it sucked so bad. But it still sucked. Oh, yeah. It sucked less if you played it on the new 3DS. I know, one of the Monster Hunter games that required the new one because it needed the C-Stick. Uh, Fire Emblem Warriors, you know, th- there's Fire Emblem, yeah, yeah. There, there's a couple, but it's not that many, and uh, it's it's just kind of, you know, the 3DS took a while to get going, but there's a lot of great games on there, and it's sad to see it officially die this way, you know. Yes, definitely. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, and uh, we love the 3DS, and it's it's sad, you know. Some games look better in 3D, some don't. Some, you know. It is what it is, and that's uh, basically it for this uh, small little podcast. Remembering the 3DS and loving it, and, you know. It, if you, I, I definitely recommend buying a new battery pack from Nintendo because you know it's going to be rare and rare. The battery will die, and you know you don't want those games to never be exist again. You know, if you already have a 3DS, that's what I'm saying. Right, exactly. I don't buy one and then be like resell it for a huge exorbitant price because they don't have to shoot you. <laughs> And, you know, buying the new 3DS, if you can, definitely recommend it because, you know, having the 3D, even if you don't use it for all the games, you want to have that option, you know? Yes. I feel like the new 2DS feels cheap. It's very plasticky, very kid-friendly. It doesn't feel Mm -hmm. the same kind of caliber as the new 3DS. Sad to see it go, but it's time. It's been nine years. It's time to go to the game in the sky. All right, and that's it for us. Bye. All right, bye. Before this podcast wraps up, I want to thank my patrons. Thank you, Kano3D and Mr. Bengal5 for your financial support on Patreon.com. So that's going to be it for this podcast. Thanks for listening. You can find 3D or 2D on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest, Instagram, and more. Just look for 3D or 2D. Links are in the info box. If you want to send us listener mail, our email address is email3d or 2d at gmail.com. Thank you for either listening or watching this podcast. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone.